In this lesson, we're going to go over the product rule for derivatives. So let's say if we have a function f multiplied by another function g. The derivative of f times g is going to be f prime g plus f g prime. So let me give an example. Let's say if we want to find the derivative of x squared sine x. So notice that f is basically x squared and g is sine x. So let's write f is equal to x squared and g is equal to sine x. Now what is the derivative of x squared? The derivative of x squared is 2x and the derivative of sine x is cosine x. So now all we need to do is plug in what we have into that expression. So f prime is 2x times g, which is sine x, plus f, which is x squared, and then g prime is cosine x. And so that's the answer. Now, if you want to, you can factor out the GCF, which is x. So if I take out an x, I'll be left with 2 sine x plus x cosine x, if you want to simplify it. Now let's try another example. Go ahead and differentiate this expression. 5x minus 9x cubed times 8 plus x squared. Go ahead and find the derivative of this entire expression. So let's say that f of x is 5x minus 9x cubed and g is going to be the other function a plus x squared. So first we need to find f prime which is the derivative of 5x is 5 and the derivative of 9x cubed that's going to be 9 times 3x squared which is 27x squared. Now for g prime the derivative of a constant is 0 and the derivative of x squared is 2x according to the power rule. So using the expression the derivative of f times g is equal to the derivative of the first part, f prime, times the second part, plus the first part times the derivative of the second. So f prime, that's 5 minus 27x squared, and g is 8 plus x squared, plus f, which is 5x, minus 9x cubed, and then g prime is 2x. And so this is the answer. Now let's try an example with trig functions. So let's say f of x is 4 sine x tangent x. Go ahead and find the first derivative of the function. Now it's good to separate it into two parts. This is the first part and you can call that f if you want, and then this is g, the second part. So to differentiate it, we need to find the derivative of the first part of the function. The derivative of 4 sine x is 4 cosine x. Now the second part, g, we're not going to change it. And then plus, we're going to keep the first part the same, but we're going to find the derivative of the second part. The derivative of tangent is secant squared. So as you can see, this is f prime, this is g, g was not changed. Let's say this is f and g. And then f is unchanged here, and then that's g prime. So now we need to simplify the expression. Tangent is sine divided by cosine. Secant squared is 1 over cosine squared, so there's not much that we could change. But for now, I'm going to just write it as 1 over cosine squared. So I can cancel cosine on the left. So I have 4 times sine x. You know what? I'm going to leave it as 4 sine x secant squared because I can take out a 4 sine x. And so I'm left with 1 plus secant squared. And I'm going to stop here. So that's f prime. That's the first derivative of 4 sine x tangent x.
Now let's move on to the next example. So let's say f of x is 5x sine x minus x cubed tangent x. Go ahead and find the first derivative of this function. Now we need to use the product rule on this term and on this term separately. So for 5x sine x, we can say 5x is like f, and sine x can represent g. Now for the second one, x cubed can be f, and g could be tangent x. You know what, let's call this h, so we don't confuse it with the other f. So let's determine h prime of x. So let's differentiate the first part of the function. The derivative of 5x is 5, and then leave the second part the way it is. And then plus, keep the first part the same. That's going to be f times g prime, so differentiate the second part. The derivative of sine is cosine. Now, let's apply the product rule to this expression. So let's enclose it in brackets. The derivative of the first part, x cubed, is 3x squared. And then leave the second part the way it is. Plus, keep the first part the same and differentiate the second part. The derivative of tangent is secant squared. So don't forget to distribute the negative sign to everything. So we have 5 sine x plus 5x cosine x minus 3x squared tangent x plus x cubed secant squared. Now there's nothing else that we can do with this problem. So we're going to leave it the way it is. Oh, I almost made a mistake. This should be a negative sign. We need to distribute that negative. So this is the answer. Now, let's say if r of x is equal to x squared plus 6 times 7 minus 8x plus 3x minus 5x cubed. What's r prime of x in this example? In this problem, we have three factors instead of two. So how can we use the product rule when we have three factors? We can call this f, g, and h. So what is the derivative of f times g times h? So what you need to do is differentiate the first part, f, and leave the other two the same, and then differentiate the middle part, g, leaving f and h to the same way, and then differentiate the last part, h. So r prime of x is going to equal the derivative of the first part. The derivative of x squared is 2x, and the derivative of a constant is 0. So f prime is just 2x. And then we're going to rewrite g and h. Plus, we're going to rewrite f, and then times g prime. The derivative of 7 minus 8x is simply negative 8. And then times h, which I'm running out of space. And then plus f, which is going to stay the same, and then g is going to stay the same, times h prime, which is 3 minus 15x squared. So this is the answer. There's no need to simplify it at this point, unless you can. But I will leave it the way it is. Now let's say if f of 3 is equal to 4, and f prime of 3 is negative 7, and g of 3 is negative 8, and g prime of 3 is 5. What is f g prime of 3? How can we evaluate that expression? Well, we know that the derivative of f times g, that's equal to f prime g plus f g prime. So if it's f g prime, evaluated when x is 3, this is going to be f prime of 3 times g of 3 plus f of 3 times g prime of 3. 
So all we need to do is plug it into the expression on the right side. So f prime of 3 is negative 7, and g of 3, that's negative 8. f of 3 is 4, and g prime of 3 is 5. Negative 7 times negative 8, that's positive 56. 4 times 5 is 20, and 56 plus 20 is 76. And that's all you need to do in order to evaluate something that looks like this, fg prime of 3. Now, you might be given this information in table form, so you can still apply the same principle to evaluate it. So that's it for this video. That's all I got. Thanks again for watching.